My name is Tom Hamilton and I'm an Associate Professor in Early Modern European History. My main field of research is the history of France and Europe in the 16th and 17th centuries. And I particularly work on the conflicts known as the French Wars of Religion, which are civil wars between Catholics and Protestants. And my interest there is about how ordinary people experienced living through the civil wars. But that's really hard to get to as a historian of the pre-modern period, which is a time when most people couldn't sign their name. So my research involves archives and especially criminal archives. I'm really interested in criminal interrogations as sources because there you might find people who might be peasants, who might be illiterate, but finally somebody's asking the question and writing down their response. And they can be fantastic sources to look at the experience of people through the events of the civil wars or any other events of the 16th century. In my teaching, I also use criminal justice sources extensively. I teach a module here in Durham for second year undergraduates called Crime and Culture in Early Modern Europe, where there we're looking at how do you use criminal archives to explore wider themes in early modern social and cultural history. We look at the history of violence, the history of gender, history of property and social hierarchies. And we also use records sometimes that come from, from here in Durham, from Palace Green Library, from the cathedral and castle, we have amazing records of the church court sessions, the, the court that was linked to the cathedral, that includes moral crimes, uh, insults and slanders and conflicts that happen in Durham. We also look at records from across Europe in translation, many of them are available online. Early modern history and pre-modern history in general is a particular strength of the history department in Durham, but also the university more generally. We have the Institute for Medieval and Early Modern Studies, which brings together history, but also English, modern languages, theology, and other colleges, departments, and research centers across the university. And that's where we hold regular research seminars, talks, work in progress sessions, conferences. There's a student association for, um, for graduate students doing masters and PhDs. And that's where often new ideas are shared. We catch up with colleagues and students to talk about what we're doing, what we're working on at the moment, and events in, in the Institute for Medieval and Early Modern Studies are often the trigger for new research ideas. And that's where the latest findings are, are developed.